So happy Halloween. I don't know if I can make it. Look at my, look at my t-shirt. Yeah. Um, but I, I really wasn't in the mood to make any Halloween theme videos. So I also didn't have time. So here we go. We have monkeys instead. Uh, I, I did I did make I did try to animate them on stream. My stream was abysmal. So, I was so excited for that to, to, to have a camera and to interact with people and damn it, it didn't work out. Okay, it didn't work out. Because it, because it, so you know what? Uh, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I will get there, you know, I, I'm putting myself out of my comfort zone, so I will, I will get there eventually. That's that. Anyway, now, monkeys, shadows, shadows and monkeys, colors and highlights, monkeys. Let's get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Now, is this the best way to go? No, we don't have much anticipation, but I'm not gonna focus on the animation itself. I'm gonna focus on the shadow work on this particular animation. So, how to do the shadows. Before we go to the shadows, we need to have a clean, a clean line work. And that clean line work is, we have the body lines as I have here on one layer. If I scroll through, we're gonna see that we have the, 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 the whole body without the mouth because I decided to animate the mouth on a separate layer. That way, I thought I would have more control. So I did. And this is our cleanup animation. Hacha! And uh, the, the, that's how it is. Ideally, once you do your cleanup animation, that's when you go and add the lines for your shadows and for your highlights. Usually, you see that in anime let's say uh, you see that with uh, red lines uh, blue lines green lines it's um, it looks a, a mess uh, uh, first when you see it but once you're trying to read through that mess you will see that every line uh, actually uh, make it's for, for something very separate thing either for shadow either for highlight either for whatever they have on their uh, drawing so in my case it's a very simple animation and i decided to skip that <laughs> and i decided to first add the 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 the, 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 the colors yeah i decided to do the colors first which wasn't ideal now the colors here in this case i decided to add to every individual color to have a grading you don't have to do this it's just a stylistic choice now i have here a group and if i open this group you will see we have the banana color the banana color is a separate group in which we have the banana color and the mask layer if i remove the mask layer you will see that oh it's very flat now if i release the mask layer oh i have a blue shadow going on uh and this is basically what i did with the rest of them we have the skin color which is the face and the ear and we, again that whole thing is in that group in that group we have a mask layer if i remove that mask layer it's very it's very 2D, it's very flat. And so I add this little gradient to it to again help with the with the shadows and how this will will look like. Great, great, okay. So anyway, uh, I have a bunch of uh, skin color, I have the body color as well. Uh, here's the I zoom out a little bit. Here's the body, it's very flat flat. Uh, and we add a little gradient to it. Now where comes the actual shadow? I have a layer of this. this. Oh my god, no sneezing. Oh shit. Yeah, we are good. We are good. We, nobody will explode. Don't worry about it. So we have a, a separate layer on uh, which I call base shadow. If I release that layer, you see, oh wait, here are the shadows. Now, how we do this whole thing? If I scroll through the animation, you see the shadow actually moves with the animation, which is kind of the tricky part in this part. What? The tricky part in this is to go again, once you do your main animation, go again and add the shadow animation, which is the cell shading. Uh, the cell shading is, uh, as it says, you have to go through your whole animation for all these frames again, and you have to make the, the animation based on the main animation you have. Are you following? I am not. I think, I, I think, I think that makes sense, right? So once you do that, you just you know just follow your animation it, it should be easier there's no way you can like you know like a magic again magic one to be okay so i'll add the shadows it just, it just doesn't work like that i keep 
go to my my microphone. I think I'm screaming too much in the microphone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your ears. Okay, that's okay. <sighs> so <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not fine. Uh, but yeah, then we have this little punch over here. Once we're done with the shadows, same technique goes to the highlights, which I didn't I didn't I didn't name my layers. Yeah, it work. Don't don't be like me. Name your layers and you you gonna you're gonna be happy. Happy person. Happy happy layers, happy life. No? No. That, 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 that doesn't sound good. With the highlights, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. You are going again based on the keys, made based on the keyframes you have here, uh, which is the body lines. Body lines. Why I actually change this? Change this to a orange. The body lines. This is your main animation. This is these are the keyframes that you should follow. And as you see, under every single keyframe, we have more. Uh, keyframes basically they're following one another, and until we get to the the anticipation part of this, uh, and then the punch. And as you saw here, I decided to play a little bit with the highlights. Maybe I should name them highlight, like no highlights. So there will be a big punch on this, and then the the uh, light will be smaller. And then it will go like this. Same thing goes for his face. All of a sudden, on his face, we have some highlights as well. Alongside with the shadows. The shadow part of him also moves. Now, he doesn't have much movement. Only the hand uh, and, and the mouth. I just didn't have to actually about this. And also, I, I wasn't the best um, period of my time. Which is the cramps. But, you know, you, you gotta power through. Thanks, okay, and you make this terrible animation. Aha! It's not bad. I, I really like the, the final results of, of everything. Now, the let's go back to the shadows, right? The shadows, there are in here in this one group. Shadows. Again, name your layers. And again, we're still talking about this little monkey with the banana. Yes, the banana is blue. That's how I felt like it, okay? So, the banana and the monkey and... Even the banana has a little bit of shadow. The shadows, as we establish, are in the separate um, groups. So when you use a color for your shadows, a lot of people will go and probably use um, black, right? Uh, the color black. But if you notice, my uh, layer with the shadows is not black. The color is definitely well, not black. Uh, it's a purple color. So if I release, if I bring back the opacity, uh, go back to normal, uh, okay, so this is my color that I chose to use for the shadows. Now, when you look at that, it doesn't very, it doesn't look appealing, right? So once you have, uh, once you animate all of your shadows again, based on your previous um, keyframes uh, on on the movement on, of your character, uh, once you're done with that, you can grab your layer, you can lower the opacity of that layer. And then you can go to the blending mode and you can either put this on overlay and see how it looks. It does have it does add a bit more color to it. Um but I didn't enjoy that effect that we had, so I went a bit a little bit more darker, which is the multiply option. And yeah, you can push this on 50. And obviously when we uh, put this on a on a darker uh, phone, on a, on a darker background it, it looks better i think uh with all of the highlights now i could have added some, some blur to the highlights but again i didn't have much time and i just want to make this video hopefully it's better than compared to the other videos i had i i had a moment the reason to watch uh, my old videos and i'm like okay this is bad i'm just i'm just rambling and i look like shit um but you know you can, that's why you kind of have to improve and let me have to change if you don't change you don't improve and then you get stuck and that's why i'm also trying to live streaming and stuff to to put myself um outside my comfort zone and i think that monkey that monkey is actually putting himself herself out in the comfort zone yeah, yeah. that's I, I i hope this video was helpful already um it to the animation especially frame frame animation does take you a while
and, and I have to shower again. But maybe, maybe, maybe later. Um, but that's that. Um, I don't know what else to say. Don't be afraid to uh use um different layers for different parts of the uh of the characters that you have. Now, as you notice on this one here, uh maybe I should say that uh the beginning frame is this one. <laughs> Last frame, you see that I kind of mess up the, uh, the the shadows over here, uh, which is which is not good, great. But uh, I can fix this, except I'm not right now because I think this is uh, you get the idea how to do these kind of stuff. You can uh, always have a separate layers for the shadows, separate layer for the highlights, and once you combine it, combine everything, you get actually a decent looking. Um, this is looking an illustration that is moving on your screen, which is, which is you know, it's uh, always always satisfying when you see that, even though it's very very fast, but it's just nice to see when uh, this comes to life and when you add shadows and highlights to things, they do look better. Um, so that's my method of adding shadows. Anyway, until the next one, uh, happy Halloween, I guess. I don't know if I make this, if I manage to do this on a, on a proper thing. I, I, I don't think so. But, uh, who are you gonna call? Kill the And until then, bye.